and me and Danny Jerky. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the best in the world, but he is the best in the world. I had the potential to be, but yeah, he beat me to it. He's the first man to pull a thousand pound sumo in competition. Um, he, he beat uh, Benny right? Yeah, Benny Maxson. So he's one of the best ever, ever in history. Well, we both are, so it's like. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be up there real soon, bro. Soon. In about three, three and a half months. <laughs> so today we have Dallas. Um, yeah, he's in peak right now. I think he's like five weeks out. Yeah, five weeks. Five weeks out. He has a heavy single. He's supposed to do a thousand day. He might go, he might not. We'll see. I think his thumbs have been killing him. Um, I just have a seven, um, so I won't be doing anything too crazy. But um, how you like the gym so far? Yeah, I'm liking it, man. It's got everything you need. It's got plenty of platforms and racks. Seems to have a pretty good vibe to it. I'm ready to get going. He's going to die from the minute. It's going to be hot. Yeah. I'm I'm from D.C., man. I don't know if I can handle this heat, but we'll see. That might be a limiting factor. <laughs> but it should be fun. Um, that's the way to get turned into the warm up, so let's get it. 24 hours in a day, what the fuck you gonna say? Pick a lane, man, you gotta choose one. It's what they used to tell me every day. Caught a few along the way, don't be afraid if you gotta lose one. I'm trying to take it higher, the boy is on fire. He preaching to the choir, you know that. Never been a liar, the boy is on fire. I'll take it to the wire, you know that. Reach back, had to grab me a hit. I'm on the clock, game time, it's like I'm drafting a pick. Like a genie, I could grant you a wish. I'm so drunk, I just might smoke something if they pass me the shit. I gotta slow down, plenty of it here to make it go around. Mindset of linear periodization, so I see the number and I want to try to stick that number as much as I can. But the RP is there in case the numbers aren't fitting with how I'm feeling, so I'm really getting the hang of actually doing that because if not, that's how you get hurt is going too heavy, putting your body under too much load. For a few weeks, my back was just really stiff, it hurt to bend over, and I know it was because I was just kind of a little dumb with doing sets of eight with like 800 plus and thinking. You know, not dropping 20, 30 pounds, but doing a more manageable set. I just kept pushing through it, you know. Got to be smart. Thanks. Well, I just don't hang out. So, I ended up pulling 925, um, which is 420 kg. I missed it the first time. The humidity here is terrible. As you can see, I changed shirts. Like, I'm sweating that much. Like, it sucks. But, um, ended up doing my back downs with a, I think a 6x4 with 705. I didn't do all my back off. So I'm in quick line. I did like three sets. It's, it's hot as fucking here. But now I have high watch squat. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of people in here. Like, it's fucking crowded. Um, but, fuck, I'm tired. But I still got to watch. I think I lost like 10 pounds already. So, but she hung up and the thing to try to get the one up. Run it. Back of my head, the thoughts killing me. I don't have a second to spare, well, not willingly. Way too much effort in people who not feeling me. Equivalent of burning myself with hot spilling tea. I'm talking like Jerry, man, what you gonna do? I need to pick up like half court, two on twos. Guess it's just another obstacle I move on through. While I'm looking at the runway that I flew on to. Ooh. Let me out to drive, but I came back. Boy, you gotta know we don't play that. Boy, you gotta know we don't play that. Can't check me. No offhand, that boy was born lefty. Crunch time's about how you move when you're tired. But be careful putting fuel on a fire, cause you the one that's gotta live behind decisions you chose. Peaks feel good, but those valleys get low. Chains for the tires in the rain, hell, snow. It's like that everywhere that you go, everywhere that you. A lot of motherfuckers go down, don't come up. Voice in your head, don't shut up. Blew an opportunity, you tried to call back, but she hung up. Anything to try to get the one up, run it. 
It's all independent, the fans backing it. Real love, this ain't for the fame of bandwagon shit. I'm trying to move around and get depressing at home. Life been hitting like Sylvester Stallone. It's been a rocky week, brain work. I ain't used my heart in a while. Gotta get the fans bouncing off the audio files. I got them waiting on my sentence like they caught in a trial. Why you hating? Don't get caught in denial. Yeah, I remember y'all. Left me out to drive, but I came back. Boy, you gotta know we don't play that. Boy, you gotta know we don't play that. I've been laying low, I had to stay back. I was at work, they did not die. No magic button on life, ain't no tie dies. Go, got up. The flow so globe, try to. Three pack, I'm serving them all a whole lot of. Live behind decisions I chose. Peace, no, no feel worries, good. Yeah, it went okay. Low. I mean, I'm definitely coming in, you know, I knew the heat would play a factor. I had to use straps because my hands are getting torn up. And normally with straps, I'm a lot close to the bar with hook. I sit the bar a lot lower. And the most I've ever done with straps was 920. So I knew it was going to be hard, but I had to give my hands a break. But with that being said, I mean, I've, I've, I've done a thousand two other times during meat prep so far, and this will be the third. So I'm getting more comfortable with heavier and heavier weights. And I really built up my work capacity. So even, even doing the thousand and not getting it and doing a few sets of 700, I don't even feel that beat up, and I did some back and hamstrings as well. So that's another thing I've realized is building up your work capacity, making sure you can handle a lot of training and load, prevent injury and whatnot. So that being said, I'm still I'm still happy with today because I feel like you can always take something away from a training session, both good and bad. And you know, coming to this gym, meeting a lot of good people, seeing the environment and whatnot, and obviously being with Jamal, it was a cool experience. I'm definitely glad I came. Yeah, so this, the American Pro, I'm really excited because obviously, I anticipate breaking a deadlift record again, but I'm more excited about the total because I really feel this meet I'll finally show what I'm truly capable of with the total. Like I'm hoping to total high 2200s and on a great day 23, and that would be a huge improvement. So I know not only just deadlift, but squat and bench, executing, and just the overall picture, I'm really excited about just to show that I'm solidified as a full power meat lifter and not just a deadlift specialist. In the beginning, I kind of tweaked my back because uh, I was doing a little too much too soon in terms of weight and rep, but I've really improved my bracing and my back pain's gone away, and I've been very consistent, especially with squats the last few weeks. My bench has been the best. It's been all prep. I'm really confident. I'll get 460 to 470 ish at the meet, which is be awesome. And in the near future, in a year or two, I really feel like 500s on the horizon. And then for deadlift, you know, my goal is just to break my all-time record of 970 at 275, and hopefully add to that as much as I can. But once again, I'm gonna. I'm going to judge the attempts based off the total because I really want to position myself to get a great total. So I'm not going to do an outlandish pull just to break a deadlift record. I'd rather just focus on the total and make sure my total is what I really want it to be. After my last meet, you know, he called me and we talked for a good hour or so. You know, and he gave me props and that was really cool because there's nothing bad between us, but for him to reach out and say, hey, you know, great job on your accomplishments and stuff, that was really cool that he supports me as much as I support him. I mean, I know he's about to do great things. I mean, at the, I forgot what his meet September's called. The showdown meet last year, whatever it's called this oh, year. Pro Raw. Pro Raw, every meet's got pro in its name now. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, Jabal's barring all cylinders, especially training in this heat all the time. I mean, that makes it real tough. I can't imagine training in this kind of weather on a daily basis. Like, props to anybody who comes to this gym. I, I was born in Cali and raised in Oregon, and I could never handle this heat. <laughs> Yeah, that's what concludes today's video. Um, as you see, guys like Dan, he's a great guy. Like, he doesn't have like a huge platform to kind of show off who he is as a person and what he brings to the table. He's really knowledgeable. Like, he really loves to help people. Um, I, I met Dan like two years ago. Connected through social media, and you know, then been in contact since. And then he told me he wanted to come down, so he came down. We had a great deadlift workout. But I'm gonna say great. We both kind of missed our top sets, but I mean, it is what it is. The humidity in here was fucking terrible today. It was fucking hot as fuck. Sits on the people, and no air flow. It's just fucking hot. But it is what it is. Um, overall, great session. Probably going to bench together on Monday. I'm not sure yet, but I let you guys know if it, if it happens. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's a lot of weight left in the day. Two of the best, if not the two best that was in the world. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever. Uh, see you guys later.